we're going to take a little sidestep here and and talk about um, using the git bash and some of the command line uh, commands. Uh, if you're familiar with command line usage, you can pretty much skip this video. Um, but if you're if you're hazy or it's been a you know, you've never done it or you it's been a while, um, watch this video. Uh, it, it'll be helpful. Now I'm just going to run through the commands. Later on in the video, I'll show you you know how to pull up to get bash and things like that. Um, so really, just it's just a quick look at what the commands do. Uh, and a little bit of how to navigate in the command line environment. So kind of absorb this that way later on, you'll you'll be able to use it and understand what we're doing later. Uh, if you've ever used command line uh, or Windows command line, um, but you've never used a Linux command line, there's a bit of difference with some of the commands. Uh, I know I, I sometimes fumble over that being that I started on Windows machines a long time ago. Um, so try to remember uh, things like DIR, those kind of commands, those are Windows commands. We're gonna focus on the Linux commands. So I have my bash window open here and uh, it has me in my user or home directory uh, on my Windows machine. I want to navigate over to where I'm going to work on this project. And uh, that's on my, my local server. To navigate, we're going to use the CD or change directory command. And first I'm going to go to my C drive. All right, so now I'm in my C drive. And, and that's indicated right here, also up here in the, uh, the uh, title bar here. Now I want to go further than that. I need to go into my XAMPP folder, into my htdocs, and into a folder called tdc. Now this first time we used um, the cd command, we just uh, moved one directory, but we can actually move a whole path. So we're already in C. Now I want to go to XAMPP. But inside there I want to go to htdocs, and I want to go to tdc. And now I'm there. So the next command I want to look at is the uh, uh, the directory listing tool, which I believe with git bash um, ll is an option, but the actual command is ls. I don't like the way it lists it, so I use ll. If uh, ll doesn't work for yours, um, you can still use ls, but you see just a little bit of the difference between the directory listings here. So you see I've got two directories or folders here in this in uh, the TDC folder. I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to move into tests for now because this isn't the actual project we're going to work on. So I'm just going to work in this tests folder here. All right. Now I want to show you the uh, make directory command. So we can make a new directory or folder. Um, and that is just mkdir, and then the name of the folder. And we'll just call this get stuff. There you go. Now I've made that directory. However, I'm not in it yet. If we do the ll command, you'll see that we made it. There's get stuff. Um, but now let's move into it. So cd get stuff. LL to an empty directory. Let's create a file. The a really simple way to create a file is to use the touch command. Um, and basically the touch command, um, I'm not actually sure where that uh, term came from, but basically it creates a file if it doesn't exist. So let's say touch some dot file. Now, if we do the directory listing, there's our file, sum.file. So at this point, now we have a file we can edit, and um, we're pretty much going to do all the editing in Notepad++. So as far as the command line tools um, for the bash utility, this is um, most of what we're going to use. Uh, I may throw a couple in there later on that I haven't thought of. 
Um, but you at least kind of get an idea of how to move around. Um, we're also going to be working with the Git specific tools. 